And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some War Mother's Ramp. This deck has a crazy curve. We were just kind of talking about it here. So we have um, two two drops, you know, three of each of them, one four drop, <laughs> no ones, no threes, no zeros. So we have just nine total cards that cost four or less. This is a crazy curve. And then we're starting at turn five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, even more than nine. We have a couple of 12 drops because of War Mother's uh, call. Wow, this is a curve here. I haven't been like, like I've played against, I've, I've not played this deck yet, but I've played against this deck um, a few times and it, I haven't been like super, super impressed with it. But with that said, I have been really impressed with Anivia, been impressed with Ruination. This deck can, ha it has a great top end and a super, super powerful top end. Um, Catalyst of Aeons is going to be like a, one of our most important cards. You know, we really want to play this card on turn three. This is our ramp spell. This is basically the one of the only ramp spells. In I was going to say basically the only, but then there's the uh, Weirding Stones creature also. So there's like two ramp spells in uh, Legends of Runeterra. Um, but yeah, it does play similarly to the the Anivia cloning cloning deck that like the uh, Nivia Tribal we played the other day. I really liked that deck, so that makes that makes uh, me want to play this deck more because I did really like that Anivia deck. But I'm worried about our our early end. I I think that maybe we need a little bit more early on. Like, it just seems like we're kind of too top end. Um, yeah, the Catalyst does seem really bad just on on the face value. But whenever I was playing the Anivia deck the other day, I was actually really impressed with Catalyst. The reason why it's important, you know, getting that extra mana gem is because of Nivea. Because with Anivia, you really need to be enlightened. It doesn't matter the like when you cast it, but you need to be enlightened. So it does just speed up your ability to be enlightened for Anivia to come back and Anivia doing two damage and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so it's a, it's a must in this kind of deck, but. Um, But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I could see like this deck playing like the Elmuck package, honestly. Elmucks are like good versus aggro. I could I could see it playing the Elmuck package. Like instead of instead of like Soul Gorger and either Withering Whale or Grasp, you know, playing Elmucks. Maybe instead of Hearth maybe instead of Everos and Hearthguard and Soul Gorger. I don't know. We'll kind of see. Oh, I guess I should. I guess I should talk about the the namesake card of the deck, War Mother's Call. Um, you know, this is, that's where ramping all the way up to this card. It costs twelve, so you have to like basically be enlightened and have some sp extra spell mana as well. But summon the top unit of your deck now and each start around. So basically, when you play it, the top unit of your deck, no matter what it is, goes into play. Then you pass the turn, start of the round, put another thing into play. The things that we have are, of course, complete bombs. We got Ledros, Trendemir, Anivia, Soulgor Soulgorger. We got some bombs in here. The Elnuk package would make War Mother's Call worse, where you're just putting like some Elnucks into play, I guess. I don't know. Let's let's just play. You know, before you know, before I keep on having judgment about the deck, let's let's play it. We may not play like the whole ten matches. This is going to be a pretty slow deck. Uh, we've had already a long stream with the expeditions. And the elusive burn was like a two hour video. So we got like basically we got an hour left here. So you know we'll play this deck for an hour, see how many matches we get in. Yeah, I do like yep, that's a good call. Uh War Mothers. Or, it's a good point. War Mothers call lets us get multiple champions in play. You know, it it doesn't check like Oh, you already have one Trindomir in play? Your top card's a Trindomir? Well, you don't get another one. Nope, you do. You just get another Trindomir. All right, our two drop. We get Catalyst of Aeons, a card that we, we definitely mulligan for Catalyst of Aeons. You know, Catalyst of Aeons, Avalanche. Those are two of our most important cards to have right away. War Mother used to say you and your opponent? Really? That's not a very good card.
That would have had to change before open beta. So I guess they just have a bunch of protection spells. We fight for those who cannot. I wonder what their Shadow Isles is all about. Ah, uh, Rekindler. I could see that. I could see it being for Rekindler. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. I could see that. Safeguard our citizens. Bannermans are so good. Did I still gain three life? I don't think so, right? No, I didn't. As far as I know. Eternal winter. Out of vengeance, that thing. Get that out of here. That's unfortunate. I was kind of relying. Kind of relying on that Anivia.
I was hoping they would play one more creature. There's a War Mother's Call. I guess I don't really have any way... No, yeah, I guess. Okay, yeah. I was pretty greedy. I should've just cast Ruination on my turn and just cleaned this up. It's pretty greedy for me to pass. Yeah, paying for the greed. Look at that. Not paying not paying for it anymore. Alright, third Garen out here. Show them what we're made of. Not and ready. Safeguard our citizens. If it's a fight they want. So I have to drain three from a unit. I'm draining my own unit. Darn it, they had another repost. Because if I target either of those, like I, they obviously have a barrier at least. Those repost, but yeah, I got, I got punished for, for waiting, but they had a really good follow-up. I had a really good follow-up to my wait. That was pretty strong. So no reason to be greedy, you'll outvalue if you just cast the War Mothers. Gotcha. So I'm not sure, even if I would have played the, so like, if I would have played the, the Wrath before, would I have been able to handle... All that stuff. At least I just shouldn't have passed. I at least should have just played like the, the deal one to everything, gain, five, gain three on my turn. This hand's actually just not bad. Let's keep this. It doesn't have Catalyst, but it's all four cards that are good against aggro. And opponent playing aggro. I'm actually here. Gotcha. Not and ready. No, I should frostbite the Scytheria. Because they want to trade this because then they get to keep their... Yeah, I frost frostbit the wrong thing. If it's a fight, I'm still trading, but... Yeah, frost that You frostbite the worst creature, you want to trade with the better creature. True Falyorian, welcome. 
Yeah, this is the. Uh, I'll type it out. This is the Zephyr song by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Definitely a classic. My shield is yours. Aw, yeah, I love both of you, Boot and Yud. Oh, well, okay, so the reason why I didn't ramp was because I was just planning on playing the Soul Gorger the next turn. And figure we didn't really need to ramp because we got Soul Gorger. Uh, bad news. I didn't realize I didn't actually have Soul Gorger the next turn. So yeah, I I should have played the Catalyst and just take taken the hit after after damage. Play this, gain three, and then I would add Soul Gorger. There's not much ramp, there's a little bit. Just a little bit. Avalanche is good. Yeah, weirding stones, you have the O3 that that also ramps gives you the extra mana. I don't know what you're made of. If my plan is just Ruination the next turn anyway, should I Avalanche? Basically saves five, five life. Or I could play Soul Gorger and save more than that. But then, you know, the Soul Gorger goes away. Just, am I going to regret not having a Soul Gorger for after the Ruination? Maybe not. I mean, I'll have a, a Trindomir. Yeah, exactly. We can Well, I was going to, you know, block with this and then untap and then it, you know, then untap, attack immediately and gain gain another 3 life from attacking. They're down to just 3 cards. I hope they don't have it good enough creatures to just play post combat here and kill me through two vile feast. Today we turn the tide of Gosh, Redeemer is just perfect. Don't get in my way. All right, I can 
kill Lucian. Dang, stop. The War Chefs was awful. Well, that was a good drop. That was a really good refill that they had. War Chefs, Lucian, and the Vanguard. That was a great refill. But yeah, my turn my turn four, I needed to play the Catalyst and not the card that I did. I messed up that turn four. And that's, that's the turn that I messed this game up. We lose this. Okay, still alive. Ready for deployment. Still alive. Batter him. No one goes hungry. Still alive. Yay, not another rally. If I play Trindomir, I can't play anything else. This just kills these two. It only does one damage to this thing because it's tough, so it takes one less damage. So it only takes one damage instead of two, which also makes this kind of annoying because this is supposed to do one, but it does zero because that thing's tough. So that was the safer play. Soldiers, to me. Many tribes under one banner. Gonna stick with the safe play where I can just play this to gain three life. Or play this to sack the five five. We fight for one frail yard. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. <laughs> Hmm. Basically just using this mana that was going to get wasted and getting the three life right now. That's a good draw. Yes, yeah, so they didn't block because they wanted to just have all these things and then play for Demacia. I could pass back and see if they cast for Demacia, which they probably would, but maybe not. But they they probably would, but if they don't, I would regret it. But if they do, you know, it would have been even better for me. But they don't they don't have any creatures right now, so I don't think I had to do that. Pledge yourself to the shadow. Mm. The 
this is bad. Then they have Rally. I guess they can't... There's not... They don't have Mark of the Isles. They're not in the colors for Mark of the Isles. Trindamir mad. Yeah, yeah, Atrocity would normally... Oh, so, yeah, that's what I could... Oh, so I should have... Wait, if I would have just Atrocityed first, and then it would have flipped Trindamir, and then I would have attacked? Is that how that... That's how that would have worked? Oh, that's true. I only had the five mana. Yeah, so I, I couldn't even do it, right, because I, I couldn't cast it, but... Um, cause I had just had the five mana. All right, sorry. Um, well, we'll get rid of the call in the Ledros. I don't know. This is like a slower deck, right? Hecarim, Karma, Thresh. Maybe we'll get rid of this thing. Keep call. Let's keep the call. I've like never played call in constructed. Keep the call. Yeah. This is not an aggro deck that we're playing against. I mean, basically, Karma is not really an aggro deck too much. But, man, we did not... <laughs> I guess we didn't draw anything before 5, but to be fair, we don't have very much before 5. I knew. My cause. The War Mother will unite us all. The War Mother will unite us all. I don't have a good feeling about this. I really don't have a good feeling about this now. Stand together. Get their Averroes in. Strength and conviction. If they have a deny, I, I'm in a lot of trouble. Yeah, that'll be the biggest problem. If they, if they have a deny. Oh, come on. There is life, there is hope. 
So basically my plan is chump. This is my cause. Stand and defend. Hope they don't have another deny. I guess I got I do have a second grasp backup. Wow. It's every mark of the aisles. Wow. Reconsider. My to the next. They had it all. All the mark of the aisles and denies. Okay. I know. I, we can't get this War Mother's Call to happen. I felt pretty good about our hand there. I thought, our, you know, like we had turn three Catalyst, turn four Hearth Guard. I was feeling good about it. But they had, they had the deny. Winter, take you. They had the deny for that vengeance, and it was just all downhill. Leaping into action. Weak willed fool. I think I just bank the mana. Push back the darkness. It's not a great hand. We got our one card. I wish I could play this Ruination the next turn. Discipline and steal. Weak-willed fool. Nice. 
No static at all. Heaven, no static at all. Yeah, I, yeah, I think you're right, Nanyol. Our deck is just a little too slow to be like the top, you know, tier and ranked and stuff. So, you know, we are just a little too slow, but it is, yeah, it's fun to play and everything, and you know, understand our limitation. We must all make sacrifices. Alright, get rid of all these things. They gone. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, the Karma Anivia version. Could see that. Yeah, Nivia decks are slow, but powerful and fun to play. We got seven mana this next turn. Seven mana is the perfect amount of mana for Nivia. Oh, that's. Ooh. Alright, so. My plan this turn was was to play a Nivea attack and I, we kill all these things. You know, we do one damage to all these little spiders, kill all the spiders. I guess that doesn't quite flip Lucian. Okay. Lucian needs another creature to die to flip. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. This is mercy. We strike. Why would Lucian attack first? Wouldn't Lucian attack last? So I'm, I'm planning on grasping the Lucian. Which is why I I fro use the frostbite on the other thing. That's bad. These were posts. That's two games now. We took lethal. We took a lethal repost, like where we, you know, like we we were gonna stay alive, and you know, probably you know, turn the corner the next turn, and and my opponent used a, had a lethal repost. It's twice now that's happened. If I just didn't play Anivia, though, like, you know, it turned out playing Anivia ended up being wrong. If I don't play Anivia, these Grafts the Undyings are just too slow. Like, these, this is, like, maybe what I don't like in the deck are these Grafts the Undyings. They're too expensive. They never, we never gain life. 
I don't know if I want the Soul Gorger or not. I guess so. I wanted the other cards, it's just I wasn't sure about Soul Gorger. I knew. Now I have. This is my cause. Ramp. No suffering, so we may end it. Need a Nivea. Ooh, I'll take Trindamir. I'll take a Trindamir. Who would face me? Ugh. I don't like this. That combo has been pretty devastating too. Oh yeah, that's the that's what we need. We need the call. We need War Mother's call. I'm not done. That's what we need. War Mother's call. Still ephemeral, unfortunately. To battle. Many tribes under one banner. Yeah, Deathmark. Very good against Trindamir. Be at peace. Peace comes only at the price of war. This will be a slaughter. This will be a slaughter. Yep, I agree. We've got to kill Karma. So you, basically, we can kill one of them, but we got to kill Karma. Keep them from getting more spells. Come on, War Mother's Call. Darn. Mother's call. Let's top deck it. Dead, no Not quite. That makes sense. I know, that's a terrible play to cast a Catalyst of Aeon. I was frustrated by me playing the 4 8. Should have just attacked for 3. Now I wouldn't have had the mana to play the call if we would have drawn it.
possible. Yeah, Shadow Isles has some ridiculous cards. Uh, that's what I get. That's what I get. That's what I get. I deserve it. How how would I have frozen Trinidad? Trindamir. How would I have frozen Trindamir the previous turn? A true Felyorian welcome. If I didn't ruin if I would have played Archer, they would have just gone straight to attacks. So I wouldn't have been able to play Ruination. If I would have played Archer, then then it would have been their priority again. They would have just attacked me and killed me with all that stuff. I'm not going with the safe play. This is not the safe play at all. The safe play is just cast ruination. Winter, take you. I am the blade in the darkness. Yeah, no, I know that I know the catalyst was yeah, I lost that with the catalyst. I know, I understand. It's frustrated with how I played the other thing and I just threw out the catalyst there and and yes, I understand that that cost me. So yeah, it wouldn't matter really either either way. There we were gonna die. They had another lethal attacker. All right, we're gonna play one more. And I'm gonna try to play a lot better. Yeah, I think I think the deck is I think it's a few cards off. I mean, I a couple of these matches I could have played better. Like this this honestly could maybe be a 3-2 maybe. But I think it's still a few cards off. What I mean by that is that, like, you know, like, some of our cards need to be other things. That's what I mean by cards off. Advent. Come here, handsome. Hello, dear. What have you got us into now? Locked and ready. Well, good thing my opponent's playing some unplay unplayable cards. With these, like, O3s and stuff. This one is looking like a pretty easy win for us right now. Well, maybe not. Our strength is yours. So this is going to be five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This attack puts me down to 2. Stand and defend. Oh, me. 
All right, this is going to be difficult to win now. Because we have this, the difficult part is going to be... <clears throat> they have the six mana. They can just like play creatures and then go straight to attack. So survive in there. Right now I only have a Vile Feast. Well, they just have zero power creatures. I don't carry change. Nope. It is easy, see? If they mattered, I'd let them live. Man. All right. I guess I should call it a night. I did not play those last few games. Did not play this league perfectly, but yeah, our deck felt a little slow. A little slow. We need to get some of these, you know, some of these five, six mana cards need to be some cheaper cards. Um, but yeah, I would, I would say that I was really disappointed with Grasp of the Undying. Uh, it was very. I think. I think atrocity is just is is basically unplayable. I think that this is just not necessary whatsoever. And yeah, I, I don't like the atrocity. Like, like there's not not a single one of those games was, was I ever like, man, I wish I had an atrocity. No, it, it's just a. This is just dead cardboard. That needs to go. Um... Yeah, so as far as more rat ramp, there's what, the stones. You know, we could play the stones in there. Honestly, I feel like so. I feel like if if you got rid of atrocity, and I don't like, why do we really have Hearthguard? I mean, I I do like Hearthguard as a card, but I don't think this is really a Hearthguard deck. If we get rid of Hearthguard and that atrocity, and get rid of like. One, I don't know, one Grasp, one Withering Whale. Or one, you know, like we need to get rid of like two other cards. I think you just get, put the Elnux in here. Help out, help out the aggro matchup and just help out, you know, you just get some Elnux. So that means we, we need to cut two more cards. We could cut um, one Grasp, one Withering Whale. We could probably cut a Trindomere, honestly. Like, you're probably just fine with two Trindomere. You probably don't need a third. I like the one Ledros in those kind of matchups where you want that. I like that. So if you cut one Trindomere, then... Um, then you're only looking at like one one grasp or withering whale. Neither felt particularly great to be honest, but you do need like whenever you like you do need them basically for after ruination. You know, like you play ruination, then they play a bunch of creatures. You do need fast removal spells, not just slow spells. And in that respect, honestly, I could, I could see taking out an avalanche. They weren't really anything special either. Probably not. Probably want to keep Avalanche in. Maybe a Vengeance. It's still really, really expensive. Seven mana. Just to kill one thing. Because that's what I think. You, I think you need to get rid of, like, you know, get a little bit more mid rangey. Get rid of having such an incredible top end. It's not like we're, it's not like I'm, you know, throwing in a bunch of, like, one and two mana cards. Like, we're still putting in powerful cards. Troop of Elnux, Bull Elnux. Um, I know Troop and Bull are not really great hits off of War Mother's, War Mother's Call, but we saw those games. You gotta at least survive to get to War Mother's Call. It doesn't matter if you're putting creatures that aren't as good in with War Mother's Call if you don't survive to get there. 
So I think I think one either one vengeance, withering whale or grasp the undying is the last. You know, we're at four, I'm at forty one. I just don't know. I don't know exactly which one to cut because I could I could see like the. I could see cutting any of them, to be honest. Yeah, the grasp just kept on getting barriered. The whale would gain life. The vengeance got through barrier. Probably a grasp. I think it would probably be a grasp. Because everybody's playing barriers or, or you know, even just like the, a lot of the elusive decks, you know, like they're playing like their twin disciplines and all that kind of stuff and like the elixir of iron, you know, elixir of iron basically countering this for one mana. Yeah, I would get rid of a grasp. So there we go. I basically, so that's, that's what I would change. Um, instead of playing Hearthguard, playing Troop of Elnux, and then putting in Bull, Bull Elnux over some of those, you know, over a, a Trindomir, that atrocity that doesn't matter and a grasp. And I think, I think that could help out. Let's, let's play one game with the, these changes. Let's play one more game. Let's play one game with these changes. I want to see how this works. Let's try this one. You're like she who wanders. Is that like is that the was it the ten mana? Destroy all the things that cost four or less, or that has like power four or less. Encore hype. New hand. Oh, no, 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 that was, no, all right, that was bad, that was bad, I should, I should pass, they're obviously going to attack, they attack, I take six, and then I play, and I could gain my three life, and I go up to 17, I'm not used to my ramp spells having life gain, and, you know, the, the cap on life, but yeah, that's, that's what I should have done, no, and then we have to draw the bull Elnuk, why can't the bull Elnuk come, Come along with the other Elnux. But still, instead of having the five mana hearth guard, we have we get two three threes. And so the, the three three traded with a burn spell already.
them use a bunch of, bunch of cards. Wish we had one more mana. So do I just want to, you know, vengeance kill this thing next turn? I can see that. See me just ramp here next turn, just vengeance this when they go straight to combat. Yeah, which because you know they don't want to overextend because of ruination. So I could be at 19. Hopefully I don't die with the three life. But I have to say that I think I think the Elmex were worth it. I think that's that's an upgrade over what we just had. All right, so burst speed. Let's do this. Oh, no, no, oh, I get a free block. It's late. <laughs> oh, it's late. So that's seven life that I've taken that I did not need to take now. Yeah, the decks are up on Mobile Addicts. That's the link right there. I'll update this deck list with the Elnux. I have, you know, we just changed it, so I did not update it with the Elnux, but I will. This is our time. Opponent knows how to get those free blocks in better than I do. The better at that than me. I'm gonna try to get rid of this Ezreal. No way. 
All right, still at 11. That's not very good against Nivea. It doesn't really do anything. The Freljord's eternal guardian. All right, make them lose half of their life. Down to nine. No, don't. Don't stun that. What are you doing? Stun the Trindomir. The Trindomir has trampled, but 9 8 doesn't. That's overwhelm. I just stun the Trindomir and then. Yeah, and then chump the Ledros. All right, two and five. There we go. I still made some mistakes there. Yep, tired. <clears throat> but, um, but I liked I liked the Elnux. I think that's I think that's just definitely an upgrade. Elnux helped for sure. Elnux definitely helped. Cool. And like Elnux are good against like control too, because you know you just put out like a, a bunch of power with the creatures that you get to attack with. I think that's an upgrade. All right, we'll have to try the deck again later on, uh, some more with the Elmux. But those of y'all watching on YouTube, hope uh, hope you enjoyed this this video. Hit the like button. Uh, leave leave a comment about the Elmux. Let me know what you think of of uh, this version with the Elmux. Um, if you like it more with that, if you think that was a good change or not. Um, but that's it here for War Mother's Ramp. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.